Hey kids, Grandpa here. So some of my viewers wanted to take a look at the boat that I'm staying on here in St. Augustine, Florida. It is a Privilege 38 uh, catamaran and it's my privilege to give you a tour of the boat. So let's get started. How's Miss Lily today, huh? Are you enjoying the boat? Are you enjoying the boat, huh, Miss Lily? Oh, she's good though. Here we are looking at the nav station. You've got B&G instruments, all the uh, instrument panels are here, the VHF radio controls, big area for all your little gizmos to sit in that little well, not go anywhere, and plenty of room for a map. The main table here is kind of cluttered right now. I got all my camera gear in the way, so I apologize for that. Over in the port hall, we've got the galley down situation. So you got two burner stove, refrigerator. Notice the stove is not gimbal. They don't gimbal stoves on catamarans. A two bowl sink with a saltwater wash down door going forward up to a full head and also the door going up into the master stateroom. Now even up here on deck, there's great visibility, shade cloths over all the windows to darken them, plenty of hatches for light, plenty of inside lighting as well. Big double door opens up into the rear cockpit. So you got plenty of room back there. You got the uh, captain station for driving the boat, all the instrumentation and stuff. The seats, a swivel back seat, so you can switch it in one position to drive the boat and another position to sit back and enjoy cocktails with everybody. Here you see the engine controls and uh, throttles and the instrument cluster all set up on the wheel there. Quick step up off of this hull. You, you're up onto the uh, porthole and you have access up and down both sides. You've got the winches run back for the uh, furler, the uh, track, the sail track here on the back. You have full controls for that as well. Extra reefing points for uh, laying out different sail configurations. Beautiful cockpit table here. Plenty of seating around. I mean, there's room for probably 15 or 20 people in this cockpit. It's really spacious. Very steep sugar scoop. Steps coming up the rear. Dingy on the back on the davits. A couple of solar panels. You got a sugar scoop on the other hull over there. Got a little Honda. 9.9 .9 on what looks like to be an 11 foot dinghy. You can see he's got blocks and stuff for locking the lines up to pull the dinghy up. And up here above the bimini, we've got the mainsail with a stack pack. This bag here with the lines all going up, that's the stack pack to contain the mainsail. Notice there's a grill over there on the other hull. And this is just a nice little walkway that leads us forward. Up here on the bow, there's a couple trampolines. Seating up here forward. Up on both four peak. Nice, looks like a Manson anchor. There's a chain locker and the windlass there. Harkin roller furling. Plenty of hatches for letting in light and, and air. And of course the mast, you raise and lower your mainsail up forward here, which is from what I can determine about the only negative detraction on this boat. Other than that, she's a pretty nice, sweet little boat. She's got radar dome up there, and of course all the wind indicators and stuff up on the top. Very well laid out. It's got shade cloths pulled over all the windows to give it shade, so it doesn't get too hot inside the cockpit. And we're right here at Hurricane Annie's. Right there is Hurricane Annie's restaurant. Awesome place to eat. And as we look around, there's the parking lot. And right now there's an insane high tide going on. Just an insane high tide. And let's see if I can do this. Uh. You see the high tides all the way up there, almost at a step. 
yesterday or cars parked in there. They've actually issued a flood warning today. Now over there is the marina office in the distance and then down at that end over there is the laundry and showers. I'll be in there doing some laundry here in a little bit. But really nice spot. And it's Hurricane Patties. Give you a little 360 of the area here. Nice cat out there, perfection. You got the Alice May right next to us here, talking to them earlier. Nice little marina. And there you have it. One of the real advantages of a catamaran is in the bow of both sides, uh, there is a crash bulkhead with uh, hatch access going back down to it. Lots of storage room in there. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. You don't want to put too much weight forward on a catamaran, but huge cavernous storage areas can also be used as additional berths. Now here we get a better idea of what it looks like from the captain's point of view. You got the wheel steering with the autopilot. You've got all your engine controls and great visibility looking around the boat. Okay, so there you have it. There's the Privilege 38. This is a really sturdy, well set up cruising catamaran. Um, the only negatives, I'm gonna start with the negatives on this boat. The only negatives that I see is I don't like the fact that I have to go forward to the mast to raise the mainsail. So under, under bad weather to go up there and, and raise and lower and just put in reefs and stuff is a little bit more difficult than I would like. But that's fine, that's a minor detail. Um, and the sugar scoops are a little steep, uh, and the steps up and down in here are a little steep, but that's fine. The doors are narrow, but that's, you know, that's just because I'm a fat butt. Otherwise, for normal people, it would be absolutely fine. I do like the galley down situation. It gives you a nice big uh, galley to work in, and while you're underway, it's a nice spot that you can stand in. Uh, the boat's really well equipped. It's got uh, hot, and, uh, hot and cold water, plus it's got a salt water foot pump in the galley. Um, Nice electrical panel, looks like it's all been redone. Really nice nav station on the boat. Uh, I really like the master stateroom being midship, center hull. It's the most comfortable spot on the boat. You know, as a boat, kind of like you remember as a school bus, you know, you don't want to be on the front or the back, you want to be in the middle where there's the least amount of movement. And that's exactly where the master stateroom is on this boat. It's right midships, uh, about halfway forward, halfway back, right smack in the middle. So. Even here at the anchors, of course, it's very comfortable, but if we were underway traveling someplace, it'd be a real comfortable place to sleep, so I really like that. Well, here we are on the other side. This goes down, plenty of storage cabinets, full head forward with a bathtub, actually. A little library area, a workbench, and then another stateroom here to the stern. Um, nice big uh, settee inside here, nice seating area, uh, really nice cockpit, plenty of room out there. The raised captain station gives you good visibility all the way around. Um, this would be an awesome boat. It's got a nice davit system on the back, nice grill on the back, plenty of storage on the boat. Um, so if you're, if you're looking at a sort of an entry level beginning catamaran, uh, one of these Privilege uh, 38 catamarans uh, would be ideal, and, and I understand these are on the market right now. Okay, there's three Privilege cats on the market right now. Um, oh, oh, really nice. There's a 1989 Privilege, uh, they call it a 12 meter. Uh, it's a Genoa Privilege, and it is uh, 1989, 39 foot. It is in Italy for $104,000. There's a 1992 uh, Aloria Marine Privilege 39 in Patchogue, New York uh, for $165,000. And down here in Pensacola, Florida, there is a 1990 Privilege 39 for $129,900. Just about $50,000 out of my price range, but uh, still, super boat, super boat. So four cabins. Uh, four cabin, huh? Two head. So that must be a little bit different hull layout. But so, so there you go. You can buy these privileged catamarans in that in that 130. So I mean, if they're asking 130. You know, 100, 105. 
uh, 110 might be a reality. So really nice catamaran, well worthwhile looking at. Uh, there's three of them currently on Yacht World. I'm sure there's more around for sale. Uh, so if you're interested in a really nice catamaran sailing boat, uh, entry level catamaran, one of these privileges, 39, would be, it was a surprise to me. It's really a nice, comfortable boat. Um, if I had the budget, I might contact that broker in Pensacola and talk to him about that 1990 down there. Anyhow, more later, guys. We'll talk to you later. If you like this kind of thing, please do like and subscribe. Uh, please do check out my Patreon page if you want to become an insider with Grandpa's Farm Go Sailing. Uh, we're going to have a lot of new content coming up very quickly, so please stay tuned. Anyhow, guys, you take care, and we'll catch you later. Bye.